I want to address integrity. It's often the case that we speak or relate to integrity as something that is firmly tied to a moral framework. And, and, and that is correct. That is something I'm not criticizing. But what I am now rather unpacking is the integrity that has to do with how we think, how we speak, how we act, and how there is a coherence in the different parts that constitute our life. Uh, from, from the point of view of the yogic culture, I have always addressed integrity as a matter of how well we are connected to our true feeling, our true thought, our true belief. When we look at this, it looks like a very high level of, let's say, ideal, that we would be such a person that what my liver feels and my mind thinks and what my speech delivers and my actions put forward are all in somewhat alignment. That is not necessarily so easy to achieve. But what yoga does, as a matter of fact, is precisely to bring together the harmony, the natural harmony that a person has with herself, with himself. And that natural harmony is actually made possible because we start breathing consciously, because we start moving consciously, because we start becoming conscious of our thoughts, because we also become conscious of the deepest emotions that we hold in our own bodies. And ultimately, we become conscious of our soul. And, and the journey of yoga, the path of yoga, is a progression to put together the different aspects of our lives. It's a progression to become more whole, more, as psychologists would say, individuated. It's a united being that has a coherence of principles, tendencies, drives, patterns, actions, thoughts, and emotions. That's the type of integrity that makes, in my opinion, and in my experience, a big, big difference in life. When you behave in such a way that everything within you agrees to that, which you are doing, that type of integrity has a tremendous, tremendous influence in the world. In a way, it's not based on moral judgments of social society. It's more like between you and God kind of thing. It's like you were designed to do something and your body is matching that design, and so your mind, and so your emotions, and so your entire being, and God knows why he, she made you like that. And now you would trust that, that is the proposal, the invitation, you will trust that design, and you will live according to that design, put together, aligned, and working as one coherent unity.